Little Bird, a book by Angela Lee. Once there was a little bird who dreamed of being a princess. She dreamed of pretty dresses and fancy hairstyles, of fairy godmothers and pumpkins that turn into coaches, of meeting a prince. And being whisked away to rule a magical kingdom, she didn't want to play with the other birds because they had other ideas of what was fun. They swooped and swerved, and flew with grace, laughing at each other as they chased through the sky. But Little Bird stayed on her branch, dreaming. Of being a princess, Little Bird's mother told her to be a bird, not to dream about being a princess. Her mother was always trying to get Little Bird to act normal, to go play with the other birds. But Little Bird knew that she was not a normal bird. If she was, She wouldn't be thinking about being a princess. One day, Little Bird's mother was trying very hard to make Little Bird to go play. Trying so hard that Little Bird started to feel bad, feeling that maybe she was wrong to have this dream. Little Bird needed to think about this in a place that was quiet. So she lifted off from her comfortable perch and flew into the sky. While flying, Little Bird realized that she felt free, free in a way she had never felt when she sat on her branch and dreamed. She decided to ask Owl about this. Flying over to the barn nearby, Owl was sitting in a high window above the barn door. Little Bird flew up and asked if she could sit. Owl graciously let her sit down next to him. Wise owl, is it bad to have dreams? Little bird asked. Oh, little bird, it is not bad to have dreams. We all dream; it is part of creation. However, we must not deny our own world in favor of a dream. To achieve a dream, we must work within our world. Owl looked at Little Bird to see if she understood. Little Bird thought she would need more time to think about what Owl said, so she said goodbye and flew away from the barn. She headed towards the sea. Perhaps she could find a quiet place to think there. The wind grew stronger. As a little bird flew, and she could feel herself being pushed forward, as if the world was rushing her to find the answers. When she reached the ocean, little bird landed in a tree to think. The branch of the tree she was sitting on shook in the wind. Before she could get too far into her thoughts, the branch bent down, and a seagull landed next to her. Miss Seagull, can I have my dream? But make it work in this world, little bird asked. Why, little bird? What makes you feel free? Seagull replied. I felt free when I was flying today, especially when the wind was at my back, helping me quickly move forward. Little bird responded. Well then, little bird, to work in this world. You must enjoy your ability to fly. It is a gift that not everyone has. Seagull advised. Now it is time for me to fish, which I enjoy because it is a natural part of my being. Seagull lifted off from the ranch and flew out over the ocean. Little bird stayed on the branch for a minute, thinking about what owl. And Seagull said, "Flying was a natural part of her being. Maybe she would be happy if she did more of it. 
she lifted off and flew towards town, enjoying the wind as it pushed against her wings, as if it was challenging her to move forward. As the little bird reached town, she saw Miss Pigeon outside the Grand Hotel. She stopped to say hello. Hello, Miss Pigeon. How are you today? Little bird asked. Why, little bird, I am surprised to see you away from your perch. My day is amazing because you came to visit me. Miss Pigeon smiled. The two sat compatibly on the ground, enjoying the time shared between them. Little Bird felt good inside, with the knowledge that Miss Pigeon was happier just because she stopped to say hello. What kind of magic was that? Little Bird knew she would need more answers. She said goodbye to Miss Pigeon and flew back towards her home in the countryside. As she neared her grove of trees, Little Bird spotted Mr. Dove in a tree. She flew towards him, asking if she could sit with him. He agreed. Little Bird, it is good to see you flying. What is the reason for your visit today? Mr. Dove, I have a question. Is it better to dream? Or is it better to just be yourself? Little Bird asked. Little Bird, magic happens when you be yourself. Having a dream is important, but if your dream is to be someone else, the dream will not make you happy. You have magic inside of you. The only way to access it is to be yourself. Were you happy when you sat on the branch and dreamed of being a princess? Hmm, not really, Little Bird thought hard. I was not happy being me. I wanted to be something different. Have you been happy today? Mr. Dove asked. Why, yes, I have. <gasps> Flying is fun, Little Bird answered hopping around in excitement on the branch. Mr. Dove smiled. Now go home and talk to your mother, he advised. Little Bird flew to her tree. Her mother smiled to see her daughter flying home. Little Bird landed next to her mother. I have been on a journey, Mum. I learned a lot, Little Bird said. What did you learn, little bird? Mum asked. I learned that flying is fun. It is natural for me. It is a gift that I have. I learned that having a dream isn't bad unless the dream keeps you from doing what is natural, from using your gifts. I learned that by just being me, I can bring joy to others. And that is magic. And I learned that I have more magic within. The only way to unlock it is for me to be me, Little Bird said. Little Bird's mum was filled with joy when she heard her daughter say these things. Her chest swelled and she burst out in song filling the air with all the joy from her heart. Little Bird could feel her chest swell with the same joy. She lifted up and burst into song, completing the harmony with her mother, singing of the joy of being. From that day forward, Little Bird joined in the playtime with her mates, flying, soaring, swirling, feeling the freedom of the wind beneath her wings. She found joy in using her gifts, the gifts of flight, the gift of song. She felt special, unique, better than none. She realized that each bird has a unique song. Each bird has unique gifts 
and that together they can make a beautiful melody. The end.